So good morning. I, uh, I just wanted to comment about what's happening today in our society, but specifically how it's affecting us here in Westchester, Putnam, and Dutchess counties in the 40th Senate District. Our, our world, and certainly here in New York, is literally collapsing economically. It's up in flames in New York City. Bullets are flying. People are unemployed or underemployed. And we've got some real troubles here. And unfortunately, Senator Harkin thinks that the number one priority, instead of putting people back to work or making people safer, is that we should be concerned about certain cartoon mascots at schools that might offend somebody. And this is discussion if people want to have it on a local level. But it is not for some state legislator to point his finger and to threaten to withhold millions of dollars in education aid that would devastate local communities because taxes would have to go up substantially to make up for that difference. So the priorities are completely out of whack. And this bill is really a window into his political soul. This is what he firmly believes is our number one priority while people are out of work and schools are struggling to reopen in the fall. So his bill would um, would force schools to either, just like Valhalla here with their mascot, a Viking, which is Scandinavian based, uh, any ethnicity or race based mascot would have to be removed if a school district wants to keep its state education funding. That is completely, completely ridiculous and insane and very detrimental to taxpayers in our communities. Uh, three schools automatically come to mind in the Senate uh, 40th District. Mayapak with the Indians would lose over $32 million. Valhalla here with the Vikings would lose over $5 million. And the Harsh Gurley Quakers would lose over $9 million in education funding. But I guarantee you it's not going to stop there. Just like every statue has to come down, the next step will be to force schools to remove names off their schools, just like here in Valhalla, they have Columbus Elementary School, Columbus Avenue Elementary School. Right down the road in Thornwood in the Mount Pleasant School District, Columbus Elementary School. You can go through the list. There'll be George Washington, there'll be Lincoln, there'll be Jefferson, you name it. So this political correctness has run its course. People are starting to see this, that it's dangerous, and uh, it has become very detrimental now. Uh, and people are afraid to speak up. And I intend to be that voice for the forgotten people, for the middle class who are petrified at speaking out. Uh, but this de Blasio AOC agenda that Pete Harkin has latched on to uh, has no place in the Hudson Valley. So that's why we're speaking out today, because this asinine bill needs to be removed and taken back by the senator because it doesn't represent anybody here in, in Westchester, Putnam, or Duchess.